It's Monday, March 24th, and stop what you're doing and subscribe to my YouTube channel. First of all, everyone, big news. We've waited a long time for this. We are officially launching my own YouTube channel today. So make sure you go and subscribe to youtube.com slash Katie Nolan, um, and you'll get all of the no filter videos, plus highlights from Cow Goes Wild, all the really fun stuff that you've been asking for for a really long time. We hear you, and it's here. So you have to just go subscribe. Go do that. Right now, I'll wait. Welcome to No Filter, everyone. I'm Katie Nolan, and these are your top headlines of the day. Police have arrested a man who allegedly sucked a woman's toes in a North Carolina Walmart. Good news, though, he should be out in time for week one of the Jets season. Dodgers manager Don Mattingly says that Yasiel Puig blames a different fake injury every time he strikes out. And after hearing Mattingly's criticism, Puig already has an excuse for his next strikeout, hurt feelings. Oh. Yes, yell. Nets center Jason Collins says that he's heard gay slurs from only one player in the entire NBA since he has come back. I'm not sure who's doing it, but my guess is he's a Miami guard. Starbucks has announced plans for thousands of its stores to begin selling alcohol, which is an easy pivot for a company that already charges $12 for shots. Despite only working there for six weeks, the CEO of Time Warner Cable will receive an $80 million severance package. $80 million if Comcast successfully purchases the company. Which makes sense given Time Warner's slogan, pay a lot for something that rarely works. New Ravens wide receiver Steve Smith added a senior to the back of his jersey in an effort to differentiate himself from teammate Torrey Smith which just further proves that all Smiths look alike. A new study indicates that human beings may be able to identify over a trillion unique smells. Pretty impressive. Also impressive, 900 billion of them come from one car on the C train. Why is there nobody in here? It's rush hour. Oh, there's poops. Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher are expecting their first child to be a complete idiot. Steve Nash received a standing ovation uh, before his unexpected return to the Lakers this weekend. The only one who couldn't stand, Steve Nash. George Brett, the Kansas City Royals legend whose photo inspired the hit song Royals, sent Lord a jersey of her own, which is only marginally better than Lord's previous gifts of frankincense and myrrh. An 81-year-old Memphis fan with a collapsed lung wouldn't let doctors begin operating on her until their game against George Washington was over. Wow, an 81-year-old woman. I would say we found Regis's soulmate, but this woman actually watches sports. Charles Barkley made fun of North Dakota State's emotional coach during a broadcast this weekend, saying that he was probably crying because he's got to go back to North Dakota. If you want to make Charles Barkley cry, just ask him to locate that on a map. The Cleveland Cavaliers had a Star Wars night this weekend for a game against the Rockets featuring Princess Leia dancers, Chewbacca, and Darth Vader. And then in keeping with the theme, all of the fans were forced to watch a Cavs game. <laughs> oh, it was actually nice for Cavs fans, though, to finally recognize someone on the court other than Kyrie Irving. I know him. Bill Belichick was spotted at the Florida-Pittsburgh game at the Amway Center this weekend wearing a Florida visor. It's official, Bill Belichick does not own a complete article of clothing. One of the stars from the tournament this weekend didn't even actually play any basketball. He plays cowbell in Stanford's band. It was almost as if he had been infected with some sort of disease, and the only cure for that disease was to continue to play the instrument that he was playing. Anyway, uh, Stanford's band was also caught trying to smuggle alcohol into the arena in their tubas. So now we know that Stanford's cowbell player is named Tubas. The cheer sheet handed out to Mercer fans attending the NCAA tournament features the line, do not use obscenities and be responsible. We are from Mercer, not FGCU. And then they tried to advance past the second round of the tournament and proved themselves correct. Baylor coach Scott Drew said the team used great Doug awareness to shut down Creighton star Doug McDermott. Baylor had the best Doug awareness since Katie Nolan in 1996. 
Scott Drew actually got so involved in Doug awareness after one of his childhood friends died of Doug abuse. All right, guys, that's it for No Filter. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, live at 5 p.m. Eastern on Fox Sports 1 tonight, a brand new episode of Crowd Goes Wild featuring two guests, Dominic Monaghan and Abby Wambach. Um, don't forget, subscribe to our brand new YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Katie Nolan. Also, follow us on Twitter and Instagram and me on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, subscribe to our podcast on iTunes. So many things for you to do today. Um, and that's it. So I will see you tonight on your televisions and right back here on your internet on my own channel tomorrow. Bye.